friends welcome back to my channel so I hope that you guys are having a good day I am just getting ready and I thought it would be nice to come on here and maybe just get ready with you guys chat a little bit um, try not to make this a super long video but I thought that would be nice to do I'm just playing some music instrumental music in the background because I thought that would be nice as well my background again I know you can't see the pictures so well because of the lighting um, the Sun's coming in but I did recently change that and it may change I wanted to try some new products to myself uh, with you guys I've been holding off using them so that I can try them with you a couple of them I may have tried maybe once and I just thought we can try it on camera together. I'm going to use this primer that I got from BoxyCharm and I have not tried. The Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer says it gives a natural looking backlight glow, revives dual complexion, helps refine the look of pores. It looks like that. I'm going to be that. trying the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Um, this is in um, 110. So Jennifer sent me this for a birthday gift. I believe yes it was a birthday gift um, this is the Maybelline dream urban cover broad spectrum SPF 50 and it may be the perfect shade but it may be too light and if it is I do have I had this already but I had it in 115 which is so dark which is crazy because if you go 110 porcelain to 115 ivory there's such a drastic color difference as you can see and normally I'm an ivory and when I got this like I said I didn't realize how dark I mean I seen how dark it was but I thought when I put it on it would just become lighter but it did not so when she sent me this I thought that was great because I can try to mix the two to get my perfect I'm going shade. to be using a new sponge that I got in a recent haul and some older sponges as well um, this is the ColourPop um, sponge it is the full beat from the full beat kit that I recently got this is the one with the little silicone it's supposed to um, help with not absorbing so much product so we're gonna see how this goes so let's go ahead and apply the primer has like a skin tone color to it really hydrated and really There's nice. A little bit of a difference in my pores I would say but a, not like a drastic difference but it feels really hydrating. Does feel good. Definitely going to play with this a little bit more and continue trying it. So so far so good. And we're just going to get into the foundation. Like I said I'm going to do both. This is the porcelain. So right off the bat that's going to be way too light. It's so weird how that happens, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this porcelain on my hand. I'm going to take a little bit of ivory, which is so much deeper. It's crazy. Okay, and then I'm just going to get a Q-tip and I'm going to mix the two. And then I'll use my hand to apply it to my skin. said that this one is supposed to pick up less absorption of full coverage liquid foundations which I would say this one is labeled as a full coverage it has SPF 50 as you can see it absorbed a lot of the product and it says that it's not supposed to so I would say that claim on this sponge and it did say a full coverage uh, foundation so I would say that claim is probably not accurate. I would say the coverage is definitely not a full coverage in my opinion because you can still see like um, redness here, some breakouts that I have. So we're going to add a little bit more. I'm definitely going to have to add concealer 
you can see that it picked up a lot of the product. That could be why I'm not at a full coverage. The foundation is looking okay. I wouldn't say that I'm loving it in this area, but it's all right. We're just gonna move on. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with concealer. I can't recall if I have a new one or not. Use this um, Second Love Corrector Cream. It's the one I got from Shop Miss A. Again, this is not the best um, concealer product, but as far as the pinky tone, but it's not the worst either. Feel like it brightened them just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and use what we already have because I am trying to finish up some products. So I have the Infallible L'Oreal Infallible. This is in Fawn Chamos 340. I'm gonna put that under the eyes. A little bit too light and it'll just kind of brighten. Seal the rest of our face. I'm going to be using the lasting uh, Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Breathable Concealer in 100 Fair. I'm almost done with this concealer, guys. I'm so excited. I have been trying to pat it, so we're just going to put some of that on these problem areas that I'm currently having. It's all on my chin because it's from wearing a mask. We're just going to set everything so I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use a Shop Miss A um, AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. That one is in the color Soft Light. I'm just going to set my under eyes first and then set the rest of my face with the same powder. Moving on, I'm going to use this new Hard Candy Glow All The Way um, bronzer that I found at Dollar Tree, baked bronzer in number 130 Trough Fix. It looks like that. I'm just going to place that all over my face. It is a very light bronzer, so um, that I like about it because I can build it up. Very pretty. If you're darker than me, you're definitely not going to like this because it won't probably show up on your skin, I'm sure. But I like it because I'm very fair. Like that. So glad I found that at the Dollar Tree. Such a great find. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Hard Candy uh, Blush. This is in number 125, Living doll dollar tree as well looks like that very very pretty this is a gorgeous blush you guys i should have got more but i didn't just to give to people because it's so beautiful i'm definitely going to be checking for more for sure oh, the palette i'm going to be using today is the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. I had got this for my birthday and I saw that my friend Nat had it and um, I had yet to use it so I thought it would be nice to do a look with you guys on here. I got it on sale for $65 which is still in my opinion pretty pricey. 
So for me, a palette that's going to cost that much, I want it just to perform well and to be easy to work with and not a big deal. Blending my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in. You guys know I have been panning this for many years. They have a ton of beautiful shades. Again, that is what it looks like. I'm going to just go into this Peach Puff. It's like a um, soft peach color, exactly what it says. I'm going to blend that into my crease. Very, very pretty. In the pan, it doesn't even look this rich. The Sahara color, it's like a camel brown, I would say. Right underneath where my actual crease line is. think I'm gonna bring that Sahara shade that camel color shade or I guess I would say like a light coffee shade I'm gonna bring it on my lid just to kind of put some color there I'm gonna go in with another shade on top to say these shades are very easy to work with very pigmented very pretty So, so far, so good. I'm going to go into this one, the Sangria. It's like a pretty, like, uh, mauve pink right here. And I'm going to just take that on the lid on top of that other one that I just placed in there. It's very pigmented as well. I think I might just keep it on the end of the crease. I kind of like that camel brown I call it it's really pretty I kind of want to put like a shimmer from the palette I'm going to try this one. This is the Forever. I know it's not a new product, but I'm going to just put this on the eye, see what it looks like. Hopefully I don't mess it up. These things get dried out so fast, so you don't really get a ton of product. I would never pay full price for these. I Go ahead now, go on the other side, finish that up, add some liquid liner because I don't have a new one, and mascara off camera, and then I'll come back and we will finish up. All right, friends, so I'm back. Um, I went ahead and put on these lashes. They were given to me for my birthday, I believe, from, uh, from Beth, from Little Betsy underscore 79. They're the Ardell Demi Wispies. It came in a big pack like these. I really like these. Um, I'll show you close up. They look like a natural lash. Absolutely love them. I'm so thankful she gave me those. They're like your everyday, not too much, not too little, just beautiful lash. So we're just going to finish up the lower lash line, the lips, and then a uh, highlighter, and then we'll be done. So I'm going to go back into the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm going to take that real pretty sangria right there and I'm going to place that on the lower lash line. Go in with this new highlighter that I picked up from ColourPop. It's an actual body um, 
highlighter, but you can use it for face as well. It's in the color Rose. It's a very pretty shade. Looks like that. I'm just going to take that and place it on the cheeks. Super pretty. Has a little bit of a sparkle to it. Right, so let's go ahead and finish up with the lips. Lip liner I always use. My NYX Nude Sway Shoes. And I'm going to use that because I'm trying to finish it up. pretty vulgar lipstick that I got in a recent haul um, from TJ Maxx. Bury them with a smile. Looks like that. Very pretty. I have to say it's a beautiful uh, shade. I wouldn't say it's a very creamy lipstick at all. I'm going to spray my face with the Laura Geller Spackle Mist um, Prime and Set. It has a very powerful spray. Hey guys, so I'm going to pull you in closer so I could show you the finished look real quick. Because this definitely was a longer video. So this is the finished look. The palette, definitely liking. So far, I'm going to continue playing with it just to be on the safe side. Everything else um, is really, really nice. So I'm real happy with everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys enjoy Get Ready With Me's and just um, hanging out. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on all the products on all of the products as I continue to use them more, let you know what I think and all of that. But as of right now, so far so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Also, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So don't forget to hit your bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products down in the comments below. This is going to complete the video for today. Thank you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.